Beast Quest is in production now. They're going to make an animated series of Beast Quest. Global IP powerhouse super prod group and international media group and rights owner Kolabi Group are teaming to develop and produce an animated series based on the best-selling children's high fantasy book series, Beast Quest. We should have more fantasy animation out there. All I'm watching right now in anime is fantasy. Some of it is isekai, some of it is not isekai. And if you know what isekai is, it's just another world. That's what it means, and it's another world. Either teleported, transported, reincarnated. Yeah, sometimes is like they were forced to or because they got reincarnated or just happened to be at the wrong time at the wrong place. <laughs> uh, a, a lot of the shows I'm watching right now is either isekai or fantasy. A lot of them is fantasy, though, so and magic and stuff like that. So I wouldn't mind watching a show like this. Hopefully the storytelling is great. <laughs> Hopefully um, they have great characters and have an actual story and an actual origin story at that. I've been watching like a season of a show that I should have been watching a long time ago, but I'm far behind of everybody else because it's already on its second season. And that's another Isekai fantasy anime. And I'm I'm behind. <laughs> but every episode I watch is very interesting. It gets more and more better. I like it. I like these stories. I do. There aren't many IPs the size of Beast Quest that haven't already been tapped for some kind of game, film, or TV production. The 180 titles in the series have sold over 25 million copies and been translated into 30 languages. 180 titles, 25 million copies. Sounds like a lot. <laughs> in my opinion, that doesn't like, look like a lot, though. But, oh well. Is a mega hit in many European countries, including the UK, France, and Germany, and popular in Japanese uh, in Japan as well. <laughs> could, uh, this uh, series or uh, book uh, could be an inspiration for anime as well. <laughs> so yeah, so I was not only uh, in Europe but in Japan. I don't see US though. I don't see the United States in there. The series uh, pseudonym, uh, pseudonymous author Adam Blade ranked seventh across all genres and authors in the UK library lending charts in 2023. That's not important. <laughs> Who cares who's number one? I don't care. Who cares? Sticking close to the original books, the anime series will tell the story of protagonist Tom and Alina and their quest to protect the kingdom of Aventia from the evil wizard Maldel. Hopefully there's not just one evil wizard, but more multiple villains as well. The hero's journey, that's the thing that I want. Like every other person, right? Like this is why we watch anime and animation and like movies and stuff. You like to see the hero's journey. And hopefully they have this where they're weak characters then later on start getting stronger and stronger. And so uh, we, will, we will see. I can't wait to see a trailer for this animated series. Right now just be announced that they're in production of this. So no cast, just like anime, no cast, no uh, crew, nothing like that. <laughs> uh, I would assume. I, yeah. Right now it's in production or in development. Uh, Super Prod is putting a significant amount of development and production muscle behind this the animated series. So they're putting a lot of work into it. <laughs> they're putting all their effort into making this a hit series. They want a hit series, <laughs> which will be produced entirely at company-owned uh, subsidiaries 
including Wheel in Motion in the UK, the co-production company in the US, Red Monk Studio in Italy, uh, Melusine in Luxembourg, and uh, Super Prod Animation in France. So all so all hands on in operation f- for this animated series. So I'm, this is how much they try. Uh, they're trying to make it a winner for them. Not only are they going to try to treat it with the respect that they believe they should be, which is to tell the the story the way it was written and stick to the script, uh, stick to the the books as much as they can. Though that's the thing, as much as they can. Where it makes sense. Just like how I told you about Harry Potter. And in the movies. There, there might be things that you might not notice. That's going to be in the TV series. That they're making. For the Harry Potter TV series. That makes sense. In the TV series. That doesn't make sense in the movie. So in this series as well. Whatever makes sense in the book. Will not make sense. In putting it in the animated series. The show's 26 uh, 30-minute episodes will feature CG and hybrid animation techniques with a best uh, video spoke aesthetics being developed specifically for the IP. When finished, it will be distributed to uh, Super Rights, Super Pods uh, Groups, International Sales Division. So they're going to sell this animated series. It's going to be a 26 episode season, 30 minutes long, and they're going to try to see who's going to buy it or they're, they're going to try to buy, uh, sell it. So since they don't have like their own like platform to put it on, uh, in my opinion, like if you don't have something to put it on, I would have started like a YouTube channel or something and like put my episodes there. Also, what I would have done, like made like the first like five episodes available for free, or you can just make all your episodes for free and distribute it there instead of just waiting for somebody to buy it off of you. But it's going to be 26 episodes. <laughs> um, Netflix ain't going to buy that. <laughs> they don't like, oh, that's too many episodes. That's going to cost too much. So uh, it has to be somebody. Somebody who has to actually have like either a channel that's broadcasting or a streaming platform of their own. So who knows uh, who's going to buy this animated series. Beast Quest represents a key moment for us, said Wheel in Motion's Alex- uh, Alexi Wheeler. This is a beloved brand with immense storytelling potential. With its action-packed a narrative and va- a vast universe of creatures, we are confident that the animated series will capture the imagination of a new generation of viewers, just as the books have done for nearly 20 years. It is fantasy. <laughs> I love fantasy, so I have never read the books myself. So this could be my introduction to the series. I don't read books at all. Uh, the closest I've ever get to reading a book is a manga, and that's that's the closest ever. Nothing else. <laughs> I'm not interested in reading uh, books. I forget things once I start reading them. I I forget them after I, a couple of pages. So what's the point of reading a book if I'm gonna forget uh, what's happening? <laughs> I'm gonna have to go. It's it will take me a lot longer to read a book than normally somebody could because you have to remember everything. So I'm going to have to read the book like a chapter maybe once or twice or maybe even three times in order for me to like stick it into my brain and make sure I don't forget about it. 